How can we support the identity and lives of black trans men in a country that doesn't show much respect or dignity for black men in general? That's a very good question um, and a hard one to answer because uh, you hit it on the head. Uh, the country doesn't show much respect for black men at all. Um, you know, I used to be a criminal defense attorney and I could take, you know, a client in with the same record that was not of color and they were going out with me and going home and I could take a black man in with one infraction and he was going to go to jail uh, with me and you hear my little Southern talk come out there. Um, and, um, but it, it, it was sad and you see it in the system and people that say they don't are just really blind, uh, that we have, you know, it's the new Jim Crow and, you know, that's, uh, it really is, you know, we, the proportionate to the population versus how many people are incarcerated as well as black women. I want to throw that in and Latina, uh, women and native people. Um, I think one is, respecting people regardless of their skin color um, and not telling us, wow, you're articulate, uh, which is a hint, hint uh, for a black man. You know, I get that all the time. And it's just like, oh, yes. And I've gotten that since college. It's like, wow, you're very articulate. It's just like, well, what do you expect me to talk like? And um, or you're well coiffed or all of these comments that you would not give a white trans masculine person um, and then recognizing that we do exist and that we are capable of thinking and giving us jobs that are up to speed uh, with our abilities, because I have been underemployed in many positions and thought to be inferior and i know it's based on my skin color and i've been treated that way by other activists and i've told them about it and then of course then i become the angry black man um and i and i think that holds so true and i we can use the example of the commanders in chief uh if president obama had acted the way that uh, this man is acting, and, and I refuse to call him president, um, he would have been an angry black man. Uh, however, this man is acting erratic and unstable, and he continues to be allowed to run the country. Impeachment hearings would have started immediately if President Obama had acted in any way. But we always have to jump higher, act a certain way to be allowed into spaces and uh, as President Obama did and be above everything to do our jobs or we're judged inferior and it's institutionalized and it impacts even our LGBT organizations and people don't want to own that uh, but it does because how can it not when we're in a society where it's institutionalized and structural. Um, so until we start owning those things and really doing the race work that needs to be done, and we will never change. Uh, and people hate it because I call it out. Uh, and then it's like, oh, well, then you have a problem or you need to be taught how to be in an office. I grew up in corporate America where I have all the badges that show I know how to behave in an office setting. And I have all the awards for it in a box if you want to see them. So that's a slap and an insult for people, you know, because that you're taught well in corporate America how to behave. So in a court in an office setting, plus I've ran my own office. I'm a tenured professor. So for people to say those things to me is purely racialized. Um, so until we can own our own internalized racism, uh, even though we might think we're doing the work because we are LGBT or because we're whatever, uh, I don't think things will ever change. And uh, I think this whole country has a lot of work to do. And sadly, but truly, this election has memorialized where we are in this country. And I've said it for years and people always continue to say, oh, we're post-racial. And I was so glad. And honestly, I jumped up and down when President Obama said it in his exit speech 
because I've always said, show me where the post-racial world is, because then I will give you a million dollars, because there is no post-racial world. We are so racialized in this country uh, that we don't even realize how we treat people of color and denigrate them, even in spaces where we claim not to be.